Hi guys. Um, if you are a Blender user who refuses to learn how to animate, like me, then you probably relied at least a little bit on the Wigglebones add-on. Uh, however, with Blender 3.0 and later releases, it's becoming more and more, or less and less stable. It's working worse and worse to, to the point where it's like pretty non-functional now if you're trying to use it in the standard way. And yeah, for a little while, because I relied so much on it, I would like have my models, I'd bring them back into 2.93, I'd do my, my animation, bake my wiggle data, and I'd bring it back forward to 3.0, 3.1, whatever. But then other parts of Blender would break because geometry nodes obviously wasn't, well, it was like very, very basic, I think, in 2.93. But anyway, so through sheer stubbornness and through sheer laziness in never wanting to learn how to properly animate, um, I've figured out all the settings that you need and which version of Wigglebones you need uh, to be able to get Wigglebones working in 3.3 LTS. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So after you have Blender 3.3 LTS installed, go to the link I have in the description. That'll bring you to this blenderartists.org uh, post by Steve here, who made the Wigglebones add-on. That's where you find it. And don't download the first one. Don't download the second one. Download the third one, the one that is the February 23rd, 2020 update. That is the most stable one and the one I've got to work with uh, recent versions of Blender. Yeah, it should be the... Wiggle underscore bones one underscore five underscore b sixteen dot py. So yeah, get uh, get that one. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is install the add-on. So if you've never done that before, you just go edit preferences, um, add-ons, install. Go to where you hide your add-ons. I guess it would be in the downloads folder if you just downloaded it. But you should probably move it somewhere a little bit more uh, like sensible because you will probably get more at some point. So yeah, and then you just click on the add-on, install add-on. I'm not gonna do it because it's already installed. There would be no point. Okay, now let's uh, let's make a super simple armature and uh, test this out. So I'm gonna make an armature, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, go into edit mode with tab, E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude. Cool, we got a, uh, a little armature here. So now I'm gonna hit control tab to get into pose mode. I'm gonna take these three bones I am going to wiggle bonify them. So now these should be wiggle bones. I'm going to press enter. Yeah, you see them? They're uh, they're kind of wiggling away. Cool. That's what we want. So let's try getting a, a basic animation down. Um, so we're going to take this bottom bone. I'm going to do a location keyframe there. Go forward a bit. Move it a bit. Another location keyframe. Let's go forward a bit more. Grab it over here. Location. And then I'll go over to 60. I'll just copy paste that. I'll copy paste the first location so that it just ends up in the same spot. You know. Um, okay, so let's see what this looks like. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Sweet. So it's it's wiggling a bit. Cool. So what normally we would do with the wiggle bones is we would select the bones that are the wiggle bones. Wiggle bone, wiggle bone, wiggle bone. Yeah. We'd select those ones and we would hit bake wiggle and that would bake the data into into animation data so that we can render it and everything would make sense. But if we try that, oh no, what's this? Trace callback, da 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 da. I don't know what that means because I don't know how to code because I'm dumb. So I figured out that all you have to do to to make that not happen is chain is select the additive bake button, deselect it, so no more additive bake, and then bake your wiggle and it bakes. Awesome. Although, now when we look at it, that's kind of weird, isn't it? It's like we got the wiggle, but then the actual animation isn't happening. Weird, hey? Okay, so let's just control Z once uh, to get rid of the, the bake. And okay, we're back to normal, unbaked wiggle, wiggle bones. Um, so what we gotta do now, since we deselected out of bake, it's not adding the bake to, to any of the animation. So what we, we gotta like include, we gotta include any bones that are animated in the wiggle bones bake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our regular wiggle bones plus the bottom bone, which we animated to move back and forth. Now with add of bake not selected, we can bake wiggle. And the whole thing works. So yeah, the issue with this is that since you also baked the, the animated bone, if you want to re-bake re the wiggle, 
you have to also reanimate the bottom bone. So something that's helpful to do before you you bake, yeah, is just make a quick copy. Yeah, I control control Z to uh, to before the bake. Now I got I got my bones. I'm gonna shift D, and I'll just throw that guy into a, a save folder and deselect it so that if if I need to change anything, like the the wiggle doesn't. Uh, and after I do like a bunch of different tweaks, it doesn't work out, then I can I can always go back and rebake it. Okay, and to really drive the point home, I just wanna show you guys how it works on a bit more of a complicated model. So I have this little, uh, I have this little like computer rig with kind of a, it's got a pretty complicated little little system here. And all of these, um, all of these wires are also on a, uh, they're on a on the armature structure so that I can I can so they they can like wiggle back and forth like that. So I have these um these pull direction bone bones affecting affecting the wiggle of uh of the of the cables. So yeah, this is my animation right now. It just Oh issue. I just realized I didn't have I didn't have the wiggle bones armature activated. Um this one I, I deactivated it. So let's it's uh it's basically the same thing, you know it Except this is what it looks like when uh, when it wiggles. It just like goes. Everything jiggles. Everything wiggles. Those cables move. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. It stops and it does a dramatic little little jiggly jig, and then it comes down. And then it stops right there. Kinda kinda in camera. Okay, so now I'm gonna. I got all the wiggle bones selected. Now I just uh, press. Select wiggle bones. Those are all the ones I have it uh, enabled for, and then I'm also gonna select the the bones that are animated. So that would be this one and that one, which moves it side to side, and that one, which kind of rotates the whole thing. And that I think should be it. If you are, um, ah. okay. Anyway, we have this animation data. It's all baked up now. So let's uh, let's see how it goes. Ooh, jiggly, very jiggly. That's what we want. Yeah, basically it it works, which is cool. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's exactly what I want. When it starts moving over here, we're gonna be able to see the the cables kind of do a bit of a. Hopefully, anyway, do like a, boo. Yeah, yeah, that's what we want. So yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. Um, you can still use the add-on. Just get the 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 third one down on that list that I told you about. Wiggle all your bones. Get the the bones wiggling. Um, select the wiggle bones that you want to select. Plus the ones that have any animation data. Disable additive bake and bake them. They should work. I'm sure there's a way to like group bones in some way. I think I saw that like in here pose position yeah bone groups oh you know what that one that wouldn't be that hard if you want I guess you can just select all these bones if you're doing it over and over again um, get a new bo bone group and assign it and then if you just want to you want to bake this again if you like hated that you can just control Z a few times and then select these guys and bake again Wow I just figured that out right now uh, cool yeah that's everything all I want to say Bye bye. So yeah, I guess the the cheapest batteries that you can find on Amazon are not the the ones that you necessarily want. Oh my goodness, who's that? Who's that?